Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back again to Nino Cooney. I'm joined once again by Danielle. Hello. And uh, we are in Ding Dong Dale, and yes. we're gonna run through the pigeons once again. <laughs> it's a pretty cool fountain. Yeah, I like this fountain a lot. That's supposed to be one of uh, King Pussy <laughs> Pussy Cat Pussy Pants, the third's uh, descendants. Uh, we're going to go visit the king now. What are these guys doing? Having a little chat. Oh, he has a Ooh, mustache. Ooh, wow. Look at that mustache. I'm afraid I couldn't let you win at the moment. I'm a mustache man. Welcome to Ding Dong Dill. This is the road that leads to the royal palace. You are travelers, I take it. You must be in those clothes. Yes, we've come to see the king. Ah, uh, you're after an audience with King Tom, are you? Well, I'd be more than happy to let you through, but I'm afraid that's just not possible at the moment. Huh? But why? One of the king's hapless aides has allowed his Meowjesty's beloved pet fish to escape into the palace moat. That red herring <laughs> is the king's pride and joy, and a highly endangered species to boot. I doubt his Meowjesty would be able to replace this one if he were to lose it. Uh, what, what that a, what the aid of his was thinking, I don't know. Anyway, a cut. <laughs> To cut a long story short, Not everyone in the really. castle is busy looking for the king's red herring at the moment. I advise you to come back another day. Um, Alright, what are we going to do, Mr. Drippy? The palace moat is it? Hmm, if I'm not mistaken, that... I forgot my drippy voice. If I'm not mistaken, that moat's connected to some of the rivers that run through town. There we go. You think it could have swum all the way to town? I reckon it's possible, yeah. Why don't we have a look in a few ponds in that, just in case. Can't do any harm, can it? It sure can't. Gee, I hope we find that red herring, Mr. Jippy. <laughs> Me too, Ollie boy. Right then, let's go fishing. Alright, so we're <laughs> looking for a literal red herring, and I think I know where it probably is going to be. So, a cat's pet fish ran away. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's probably like some type of koi thing. I'm going to guess, though, it's by the um, the one shop. Remember we were hopping on the pillars? Oh, Like maybe. across the pond? I forget which shop that is. I think it's over here somewhere. Is it this one that has the lake next to it? Yes. I have a feeling it's going to be in here somewhere. So let's go on through. I bet it's hiding in here. Look, golly boy, see the red thing over by there? Uh, I reckon I've uh, found our fishy friend. You better go ahead and take a closer look, though, just to make sure, are yeah? But me, why do I have to go over there? Well, who else is gonna do it? Freddy the Fish Inspector? <laughs> Come on, just hop on them rickety looking bits of wood. You'll be fine. Ah, oh, gee. Alright, I guess I'll try. We did this earlier, so we'll be okay. The fish Inspector. Yeah, how are we gonna get. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ah! Is it gonna get close? Ah! <laughs> Nickers, he got away! Okay. What? Uh. <laughs> Whenever I say knickers, it sounds like something else, so please don't take that the wrong way. So sorry! <laughs> He's a lively one, alright? I think he went over towards the palace, off towards the palace, Ollie boy, after him. Okay, so we scared him back. Trippy's coming over for some reason. Now we're gonna go back to the palace, and hopefully he will be there for us to catch. That was a little odd, but yeah, at least we learned what those little beams do. We were hopping on them before, and we were like, what the heck? I like that there's people up on the bridge there, but I don't think we can get to it. It's just good ambience for the town. There's like way more fish than cat things around, which is surprising. Like, I think he'd have more like monuments to himself. But he really likes fish, I guess. Alright. So the fish has got to be back here, I hope. That's like a town having just a bunch of hamburger stuff <laughs> everywhere. For Mayor McCheese, or...? Yeah. Everyone in the castle is busy. Okay. Can't let me through, but we found it. Oh, apologies, but everyone in the palace is busy. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I wonder if it's in the fountain. I keep figuring it's gonna get, like, put up here. I bet it's in here somewhere. Has this guy found it? Folks around here tell the children the king of the mice lives down Ding Dong Well. Oh, we talked to him before, oh, alright, too. Didn't we find the well, too? We did, I think. Yeah, where the heck would he be? There's no other water sources around here that I know of. Wasn't there by where we found the well? Oh, uh, 
Where did we find the well? Because this is. Is it in here? I can't remember. This isn't the well. This is the uh, statue thing. But maybe it is Wasn't over there here. Is there water there? Yeah, it could be over here. Oh, there's a star going here, anyways. Uh, We're silly. There it is. Get it. Get it. Get oh, it. get it. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick it up. I gotta pay more attention to the map. That's what I wasn't doing in the bounty quest too. So this is the king's favorite fish, huh? Tidy. That's a red herring if I ever saw one. If ever I saw one. <laughs> now we can get ourselves an audience with the king. Let's head back and see that palace guard, shall we? We're just gonna carry um, it. Might need a little bit of water for it before it. <laughs> Trippy's okay. got it. Okay. All right, let's hurry. That's not safe. Yeah, just like throwing it up in the air occasionally Poor too. Fish. Trippy, come on. It's suffocating. If we don't deliver him soon, we'll go all floppy. Well, more floppy. You know what I mean. <laughs> Mr. Trippy's gone floppy. <laughs> <laughs> that could be an episode title. <laughs> all right, we got the fish. They're like, damn, you're just carrying it? Come on, don't you know how fish work? You again. I'm afraid we still haven't <laughs> located King Tom's pet. Oh, <laughs> this one, you mean? We came to deliver the king's fish back to him, sir. Is that goodness? I'd know the regal scarlet tones of the king's beloved red heron anywhere. Well, I'll be. You're kidnappers. I reckon he must to the have dungeon. swum out through the sewers into town. Like, is that so? I must let the other guards know right away. Yeah, I thought they were going to be like, you did this. Uh, if I re remember rightly, you were. That's right. We need to see the king. Yes, of course. But with him in his current state. What's that? Something's up, is there? Something's up, is there? So... You could say that. Did I mention that the person charged with caring for the king's red herring just let it escape? Everyone in the palace has grown terribly lax of late, so lax that we need to enlist the help of passing travelers, as you know only too well. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but the king himself has been insolence... Ind Indolence? Indolence, per oh, personified, and it seems to be rubbing off on his subjects. I don't see the word indolence very often. Yeah. Indolence, is that like <laughs> laziness? There you go. I'm afraid so. Well, perhaps being reunited with his beloved Red Herring will give him the boost he needs. In you go. <laughs> Tidy, we're off to see the king. Come on, Oli boy. A lot of the times I have a harder uh, time reading words that I would normally be able to tell what they are. Pleasure to meet you, you and me, Majesty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one. Hmm? Mm. That's right. I yes, you and me, Majesty. Mm. And you wish for a prize. Mm. Oh God, he's so mm. decadent. Um. Go on, man. Ask him. Uh. Come now, don't be shy. Scratch my belly. Well, your Majesty. Uh. <laughs> Out with it now. We need your wand. He's a wizard. One's wand, man. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> Tried to steal my wand, huh? Oh. That would be scary. Oh no. He's gonna eat us. That smell. Fish? <laughs> That's right, you of your Majesty. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. Who are you, little what? dingle nose? You yeah. mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Faye? Once you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? <laughs> well, you know, he might be able to... Mm. Mm. Rub my belly, yes, I think so. <laughs> Scratch it. It's not one's concern. <sighs> you may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand? He kind of sounds like Pete. Looks like it. From Mickey. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Let's pick his nose and go to sleep. The king is lazy. What are we going to do? All this time we met him and that he, our meeting only lasted like so a minute. So how do get the wand now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken hearted he is or I'm broken headed. Oh. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. <laughs> he's so happy in the statue. And because he's broken hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? <laughs> oh, why did he go to town? The guard outside of town was short on enthusiasm, too, huh? 
Indeed he was, Ollie boy. Like I say, reckon the king's heartbrokenness broken heartedness is dragging everyone else down with him. But the other guard gave us some of his enthusiasm to help his friend. We should go ask him for some more. That's too much. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't go doing that. There's a very important rule about borrowing pieces of people's hearts. There is? What is it? Well, he can't go taking the same piece of heart from the same person twice, see? One little scoop off the top is all it's safe to borrow. Gee, I didn't know that. I'll be sure and be, to, to be real careful from now on. So what do we do, Mr. Drippy? We troll the town for someone else with get up and go a plenty, ain't it? It's a sleepy old place, but there's bound to be someone somewhere. The only problem is where. Ding Dong Dell's not exactly village size, after all. You might even say it's proper massive. <laughs> I guess it kind of is, huh? Is something of a quandary? Oh, isn't something of a quandary, are we? Oh, wait, that's the oh, telly. No! Oh, he came out of nowhere. Flip it, Heckman. Oh, I didn't read it fast enough. Hi, Mr. Tellingstone. <laughs> You seem perplexed, my young friends. I thought you might benefit from a dose of my expensive knowledge. The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Thanks, that's real nice of you. You see, we need to borrow a piece of somebody's heart, but we don't know how to find one. Hmm, elementary, my dear Alpha. In times like these, just look to your locket. Hmm, how do you mean? Well, not only can it carry pieces of heart, the locket is also extremely sensitive to their proximity. It will glow when they are nearby. Tidy. So we can use it to track down some enthusiasm then, ain't it? Alright, so it's going to show on the map. Let me, let me tell you a little more about the locket of yours. You will see that it has a habit of glowing brightly from time to time. This is how it reacts in the presence of those who possess <laughs> one of the heart's virtues in abundance. There's a weird shadow man near us. That's creepy. Incidentally, those with pieces of heart to spare will also glow a verdant green on the minimap in the top right of your screen. Neato! Whatever that is. I will not serve to tell you... It will not serve to tell you which of the virtues the subject has in excess, but it should still pr prove exceedingly useful to you nonetheless. I just know it will. Now sally forth and seek ye your piece of heart, sally young forth. adventurer. <laughs> Thank you man. so much, Mr. Talonstone, sir. And if ever you find yourselves in need of knowledge again, you may consider me wholly at your service. Farewell for now, friends. The choice is yours and yours alone. <laughs> He just reminds me of Olmec from Legend of the Hidden Temple. Right, oh, Ollie boy, let's have a look around for someone with a drop of enthusiasm to spare, then, shall we? In, if your locket glows up, all of a sudden we know we're on the right track. Got it, let's go, Mr. Drippy. Alright, so this guy needs enthusiasm as well. It's like everybody needs enthusiasm. Who's stealing it? Is this guy the same? His hat's so weird. <laughs> it looks like Drippy's face. This is a statue of one of King Tom. Yeah, we talked to him already. Okay, let's. Have a look see, and now we'll follow the star this time instead of wandering and and trying to figure out where to go. So I could like turn off those, but I guess that would slow things down a lot. Like most RPGs they don't tell you exactly where to go, but this one seems to like really direct you if you want it. But they let you turn all that stuff off if you don't. Okay, so where are we headed? We're going towards the well. Okay. Someone near the well actually has some enthusiasm. Let's head on over there. Down this way. That well looked mighty creepy, so there might be a dungeon there for Lucky. Oh, what's going on? Camera's weird. Oh, <gasps> we're almost there. Look, Mr. Drippy, the locket, it's glowing. Tidy. Then there's someone around by here with a piece of heart to spare in it. Alright. Oh, it's Pothead Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the kid that said he wanted to, like, beat up on mice and rats or something before do you remember and the only person around to buy eater is him and look at him man he can barely stand still he's so eager jackpot you mean you think he has some enthusiasm to spare that i do my lad i bet my lantern on it let's go and get it shall we all right come here little boy <laughs> <laughs> how do you sauce <laughs> saucepan head i don't suppose you fancy doing us a favor do you hey stop distracting me i'm busy Busy? Uh, what are you do busy doing exactly? Protecting the town from the mice, of course. It is that kid. Yeah. Mice? Oh yeah, I remember hearing about the mice who lived in Ding Dong Dell. Those mice are a menace. They're always running around, getting up to no good, stealing our women, eating our food. But the grown-ups are too lazy to do anything about it. Most of them can hardly get off their asses when the mice steal things. And the one... <laughs> I was gonna see if you... <laughs> Most of them can hardly notice when the mice steal things, and the ones that do don't seem I love to care. Yeah, <laughs> she's drawing. 
Well, Tommy Stout is not going to stand for it. I know the mice all live down in the well, so I'm t standing guard here. Any mice that comes this way is in for a battery. Well, well, we don't write about this one. He's bursting with enthusiasm. Over to you, Ollie boy. Well, what are you talking about? Well, King Tom seems to be really short on enthusiasm right now. And that's where you come in, Tommy boy. You've got loads of this stuff. If we gave some of it to King Tom, the whole town would sort itself out quick sharp. Yeah, so we were wondering if we could, if you could sh share some of your enthusiasm with us. Of course, I'd do anything to help the king. Thanks, Tommy. Well, that was easy. All right, let's take some heart. Right out of your little cat shield. <laughs> I'm worried about these, uh, this mice infestation. The distilled spirit of get up and go. You think they would have done something other than enthusiasm after the first one? Wow, that was strange. Well, now I know what magic feels like. I'm also very depressed. <laughs> Strange, what do you mean? Non-wizarding types ain't used to spell silly boy. They don't know what to make of them half the time. So does that mean King Tom's going to be alright now, Oliver? Yes, and once the king's back to normal, everyone else should start feeling better too. That's right, Mon, your enthusiasm is going to put a spring in everyone's step, ain't it? King Tom's like a keystone species in an environment. <laughs> That's great to hear. Until then, though, I'd better stay here and keep an eye out for mice. All right, see you later, Tommy. I have a feeling we are going to come back to the well. Oh, they wouldn't make like a door there for nothing, I would assume, but. All right, let's go back to King Tom.